So a typical day uh, in this animal room would be, uh, first of all, the animal technicians would come in, and myself, and we'd generally have a look at the pigs just to check that the whole group, as they're social housed, uh, are nice and content. We notice any of these pigs have uh, any issues, like one or two of them might be fighting or lame, we would note that down and uh, contact uh, a vet. Uh, generally, we clean all of these boxes every day. Um, we scrub them down, scrub the floors, wash out, change the water, uh, we'd renew their bed. This is nice clean straw, barley straw, with a mat underneath. So these pigs are in for um, a virus, ASF virus, African swine fever virus. Uh, they've had a vaccine, they've come from a conventional farm uh, and they were brought onto a research station, uh, given a vaccine. They've been held there for three months to see the longevity of the vaccine and now they're going to be in a high containment where we are actually going to introduce the challenge of African swine fever to these pigs and we'll see whether the vaccine holds up for the longevity of the study. Uh, so they'll, they've only come in for, this is the second day they've been in this, uh, this room. As you can see, they're very tame. So the last uh, research station that they were at have done a good job at making sure the pigs are nice and tame for, for the research that we're doing. And then, uh, so they'll be in for about, uh, after challenge, will be about 20, uh, 21 days in total. Uh, and about two weeks after challenge, they'll, uh, we'll see whether the vaccine has protected the pigs. So we handle these pigs quite a lot. Uh, obviously, they, they get a lot of uh, sampling, which involves uh, a light nasal sw swabbing, which is up here, and then also temperatures. So we need to make sure the pigs are nice and placid and that uh, they cooperate with us. Otherwise, um, we could find that uh, we could spend more time trying to approach the pigs. So we, we give them lots of treats, uh, lots of environmental enrichment. They get a lot of straw, a big nice straw bed in so they can be nice and comfortable. And as you can see, they're quite content and they get some feed value from it, not a lot, but uh, it allows them to root through for the, the little bits of grain in there. Feed them twice a day. We also feed them vegetables as well, broccoli, um, carrots, they like carrots, leeks. Record any ill signs and if we're doing any procedures, we'll do the procedures after we've cleaned out uh, so everything's nice and clean. When we sample these pigs, uh, we would uh, do a, a, blood, a blood sample which involves bleeding from the neck here. We generally do pigs this size uh, standing up. That's common practice. It's called snatching pigs. Uh, we'd also do nasal swabs here, and we'd also do rectal temperatures or rectal swabs, possibly. So a challenge, what a challenge means to these pigs will be uh, intramuscular injection, normally around here. Um, a little injection of African swine fever virus um, and uh, that will uh, initiate the response of the, uh, the vaccine to see whether the vaccine protects the pigs. A protected pig shouldn't display much more than a high temperature and slight reluctance to feed and drink for maybe a day or so. High temperature would be in about 40.5. If the, if the pig did succumb to the virus, the, uh, the pig would show quite a, quite a reddening of the skin. Uh, you'd find the pig would be off its food. Uh, the ears tend to drop back. You get a reddening around the outside of the ear here. And then there is a mortality, unfortunately, with this virus that you will find. Um, but we don't take the pigs to that stage. So if the vaccine doesn't work, these pigs would um, generally wouldn't, wouldn't last much longer than three days. The main sign really is the temperature. That's what we're looking for uh, with African swine fever. Um, and then, so if they do 
um, hit the mark that they need to be uh, humanely put down, we do that at the start of it of the day. After they've been given the disease, uh, if the if the pig survives um, without humanely being put down uh, due to the the virus taking hold, these pigs would uh, come to the end of the study, uh, which is the last date on the study, uh, and then they will be humanely. Uh, put down. 